Hello everybody. So for a few days, I have been thinking about what I've been reading on social media, um, about this backlash um, regarding that opinion writer at the Wall Street Journal. Uh, the person that wrote about Dr. Joe Biden using her honorific doctor and um him saying that you know she should let go of that and i i have to um confess that i haven't really read the article so i'm not exactly sure how that went um but i did read a lot of the backlash about it um and i was really I wasn't really surprised. I should take that back. I'm not, I wasn't surprised about the backlash. But what I was surprised about was the fact that I have read from some people, which by the way, if you haven't seen uh, my social media or my LinkedIn profile or my, my website or anything like that, um, I have a PhD, so I am Dr. Ingrid Amorini Clinic. And um, when I was at my former um, job, I had to remind people to treat me with the proper honorific. Um, you get to a point where you just don't do it anymore. Um, and by the way, I would, I prefer that people just call me by my first name. And for the most part, I, I had people call me by my first name, especially in a work situation. Um, you know, when, when you're dealing with your colleagues and you know, people that you work with every day, you just go by your first name. And even for most people that will walk in and talk to me, I always wanted to establish some kind of, um, I don't know, like trust. And so I would prefer that people call me by my first name. So I would introduce myself with the proper title, but then I would ask them, I would ask them to call me just by my first name, Ingrid. And that's my preferred choice. However, when we were in certain situations and everybody was being um, called out by their honorific, Mr., Miss, Mrs., whatever the case might be, they would go, like, bend over backwards to make sure that they would say Miss when they refer to me. I had one um, first colleague, then she um, became my superior, my, my boss, who would actually stress every time that she would call me, we were in a situation where everybody was being called by their honorific, she would say, Mr. So-and-so, Miss So-and-so, Miss Ingrid Amorini. She would stress the miss to kind of call out the fact that she would not call me by my proper honorific, which was doctor. Now, why am I saying all this? I am saying this because, number one, Dr. Joe Biden, you are Dr. Joe Biden. Go by doctor, you've earned it. I'm right there with you, okay? Nobody should tell you what honorific you should use. You should use the one that you want. If you wanna be called Jill, be called Jill. If you wanna be called Mrs. Biden, be called Mrs. Biden. If you want to be called Madam uh, First Lady Elect, be called that. If you want to be called Dr. Joe Biden, then that's what you get called because that's your honorific and you've earned it. Now, in, in, in proper situations, if everybody was going to be called by their honorific, I made it very clear that my preferred honorific was the one that I've earned. It was Dr. Amorini. It wasn't Mrs. or Miss because I wanted to stress the fact that I had earned that degree and it was a collegiate environment and it was also um, a PhD in educational psychology. And I worked in an education department. So it was very proper to be called like that. Again, why am I stressing this? 
Because number two, I know number one was Dr. Joe Biden, you see her in Number two, um, because a lot of the criticism that I saw was because the person that wrote this, this opinion piece was a man. And so they said misogyny and all of that. And I'm sure that played a part. Absolutely. I'm not denying that. But a lot of the people who did this to me were women. And I would say if anybody treated me properly, it was actually usually men. Um, and I am not saying that this does not happen in a misogynistic fashion because it does. But it also does happen with women to women. Now, I had various issues at the place where I was working. And one of them was um, I faced a lot of bullying. And part of it was because, you know, people who were my, my supervisors, they feel threatened. And I wonder if, you know, especially after all of this backlash and everything, if the fact that I had earned a PhD and they didn't uh, was some kind of a threat to them. Um, but in reality, um, this happens all the time. It happens. And, you know, I remember looking for support out there on social media and everywhere when this happened to me, especially at the very beginning. So at the very beginning, I could understand that people would forget, but then they did it on purpose. You know, they, they started doing it and I would remind them and they did it again, like right after that. Um, so... I, I knew from other women out there in academia and the professions and that they also were treated by other women as miss when they had rightfully earned their PhDs or their EDDs or whatever the case may be. They were doctors and they were not treated properly as they should have been. So for all those of you out there who think it's just men and it's a misogynistic issue, Think twice. This happens all the time. But it's time that those of us, number one, who earned a doc doctoral degree, get called by our proper honorific. So if you're a doctor and you want to be called that, then that's what you should be called. And in my case, call me Ingrid every day of the week. But if it's a formal situation and everyone else is going to be referred to with their proper honorific, then call me doctor. And if, if anyone else in my situation, let me know, because, you know, this, it, we have to support each other in this particular uh, topic, in this particular issue. And for those of you out there who think it's just a one-sided issue and it's just men and it's just misogyny, think twice. It's not just misogyny. It happens all the time. And, you know, for someone who's done a lot of research after my work situation, um, it happens a lot, and it happens a lot with women against women. So that's just my two cents for the day, and I uh, hope to see you next time and for a happier um, topic. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Bye.